Many factors are usually regarded as the biggest obstacles to successful decipherment of the Indus script which we will discuss in this video. Let us start. Inscriptions are very short and the average length of the inscriptions is around 5 signs and the longest only 34 characters long, found on a copper plate belonging to the mature Harappan period. Inscriptions vary between just 1 and 7 lines, with single lines being most common. There are doubts whether the Indus script records a written language or is instead a system of non-linguistic signs or proto-writing similar to merchants' marks and house marks and to the contemporary accounting tokens and numerical clay tablets of Mesopotamia. Due to the brevity of inscriptions, some researchers have questioned whether Indus symbols are even capable of expressing a spoken language. The spoken Harappan language has not been identified, so, assuming the script is a written language, the language the script is most likely to express is unknown. However, an estimated 300 loanwords in the Rigveda may provide evidence of substrate languages which may have been spoken in the region of the Indus civilization. No digraphic or bilingual texts, like the Rosetta Stone, have been found. No names, such as those of Indus rulers or personages, are known to be attested in surviving historical records or myths, as was the case with rulers like Ramesses and Ptolemy, who were known to hieroglyphic decipherers from records attested in Greek. Over the years, numerous decipherments have been proposed, but there is no established scholarly consensus. The few points on which there exists scholarly consensus are the right-to-left direction of the majority of the inscriptions, numerical nature of certain stroke-like signs, functional homogeneity of certain terminal signs, and some generally adopted techniques of segmenting the inscriptions into initial, medial, and terminal clusters. Over 100 mutually exclusive attempts at decipherment have been published since the 1920s and the topic is popular among amateur researchers. Although no clear consensus has been established, there are those who argue that the Indus script recorded a Dravidian language. Early proponents included the archaeologist Henry Heras, who suggested several readings of signs based on a proto-Dravidian assumption. Based on computer analysis, the Russian scholar Yuri Norozov suggested that a Dravidian language is the most likely candidate for the underlying language of the script. The Finnish scholar Asko Parpola led a Finnish team in the 1960s, 80s that, like Norozov's Soviet team, worked towards investigating the inscriptions using computer analysis. Palpola similarly concluded that the Indus script and Harappan language most likely belonged to the Dravidian family. A comprehensive description of Palpola's work up to 1994 is given in his book Deciphering the Indus Script. Supporting this work, the archaeologist Walter Fairservice argued that Indus script text on seals could be read as names, titles, or occupations and suggested that the animals depicted were totems indicating kinship or possibly clans. The computational linguist Rajesh P. N. Rao, along with a team of colleagues, performed an independent computational analysis and concluded that the Indus script has the structure of a written language, supporting prior evidence for syntactic structure in the Indus script, and noting that the Indus script appears to have a similar conditional entropy to Old Tamil. These scholars have proposed readings of many signs, one such reading was legitimized when the Dravidian homophonous words for fish and star, MN, were hinted at through drawings of both the things together on Harappan seals. In his 2014 publication Dravidian Proof of the Indus Script via the Rig Veda, a case study, the epigraphist Iravatham Mahadevan identified a recurring sequence of four signs, which he interpreted as an early Dravidian phrase translated as merchant of the city. Commenting on his 2014 publication, he stressed that he had not fully deciphered the Indus script, although he felt his effort had attained the level of proof with regards to demonstrating that the Indus script was a Dravidian written language. Perhaps the most influential proponent of the hypothesis that the Indus script records an early indo aryan language is the Indian archaeologist Shikaripura Ranganatha Rao, who in his books, Lothal and the Indus Civilization and the Decipherment of the Indus Script, 
wrote that he had deciphered the script. While dismissing most such attempts at decipherment, Johnny Michina commented that a more soundly based but still greatly subjective and unconvincing attempt to discern an Indo-European basis in the script has been that of Rao. S. R. Rao perceived a number of similarities in shape and form between the late Harappan characters and the Phoenician letters and argued that the Phoenician script evolved from the Harappan script and not, as the classical theory suggests, from the Protocenetic script. He compared it to the Phoenician alphabet and assigned sound values based on this comparison. Reading the script from left to right, as is the case with Brahmi, he concluded that Indus inscriptions included numerals and were Sanskritic. S. R. Rao's interpretation helped to bolster Hindu nationalist and Aryan indigenous views propagated by writers such as David Frawley, who hold the conviction that Indo-Aryan peoples are the original Bronze Age inhabitants of the Indian subcontinent and that the Indo-European language family originated in India. However, there are many problems with this hypothesis, particularly the cultural differences evident between the Indus River civilization and Indo-European cultures, such as the role of horses in the latter. As Palpola put it, there is no escape from the fact that the horse played a central role in the Vedic and Iranian cultures. Additionally, the Indus script appears to lack evidence of affixes or inflectional endings, which Possel has argued rules out an Indo-European language such as Sanskrit as the language of the Indus script. Linguist Stephen Bonta hypothesized that the language encoded in the Indus script is Indo-Aryan based on the analysis that the internal patterning of the script provides strong evidence of excessive noun compounding, a typological trait of Indo-Aryan languages. A less popular hypothesis suggests that the Indus script belongs to the Munda family of languages. This language family is spoken largely in eastern India and is related to some Southeast Asian languages. However, much like the Indo-Aryan language, the reconstructed vocabulary of early Munda does not reflect the Harappan culture, therefore, its candidacy for being the language of the Indus civilization is dim. An opposing hypothesis is that these symbols are non-linguistic signs which symbolize families, clans, gods, and religious concepts and are similar to components of coats of arms or totem poles. In a 2004 article, Steve Farmer, Richard Sprout, and Michael Witzel presented a number of arguments stating that the Indus script is non-linguistic. The main ones are the extreme brevity of the inscriptions, the existence of too many rare signs, which increase over the 700-year period of the mature Harappan civilization and the lack of the random-looking sign repetition that is typical of language. Artificial intelligence is also being used to decode the Indus script but so far there has not been much success. Please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.